Let's talk about France because the government will present a broad outline of labour reform during a cabinet meeting later this morning. Highly anticipated reforms are the first test of Macron's government since the recent parliamentary elections that gave En Marche, the party, a comfortable majority. Let's get to Caroline Conan. She joins us now in Paris. Caroline, great to see you this morning. Um, groundbreaking in terms of the reform project that will be put forward in front of Parliament this morning. Is that how we should uh, put the headline on this? At least this is, this is what uh, the French President Emmanuel Macron is trying to do. He wants to go uh, further uh, in reforming the labor market in France than anything that's been tried with, uh, before. Uh, the finance minister, uh, Bruno Le Maire, calls this the mother of all reforms. Now, the measures uh, that uh, we expect this morning uh, is that the government uh, wants to lower social contributions from both the employer and the employee. He wants to uh, allow companies to negotiate wages and labor rules at the company level rather than at the industry level. Uh, in some cases, for example, we could also see a referendum in case of uh, disagreements at uh, the company level. Also, he wants to bring down the cost of firing someone by capping the litigation amounts uh, asked by an employee, um, an employee in case of an fair dismissal. Now, of course, as you know, many French presidents have tried to reform uh, the 3,000 pages uh, labor code uh, in France uh, before. Uh, many have failed. Many have faced uh, street protests and demonstrations. The 35-hour week, for example, has been loosened twice over the past 15 years. And even when Macron was part of the Hollande government, he also helped uh, draft a labor reform uh, and uh, that actually had to be watered down later because of protests in the street.